guys, Satan. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am trying weird back to school snacks. It is officially school season and my school starting this week. I don't know about you, comment below when your school starts. And it is time to try some weird school snacks. You guys know I'm a big snacker. I love snacks. And I went to the store and got myself the weirdest snacks I could find. And oh boy, they're weird. All right, so it was a few days before I actually filmed the taste test of all these things. And I'm right now at the supermarket. I'm really hoping there's weird stuff. If there's just basic stuff, that'll literally ruin the video. So let's go see. Oreos? That sounds like a sin. Okay, we will try it. All right, the next thing I found is very weird. It is raisins that are watermelon flavored. I don't know what ridiculous person came up with this or what they were on, but I'm gonna try that. All right, so not much luck there, only got three items, but I went to another store and found like five other items, so I should be pretty good. I might go to a few more stores uh, before I actually film it, but when I see you guys next, I'll be back in the kitchen trying these weird snacks. All right, let's go. Alrighty, so let's just dig in. I'm now gonna put these to the side and let's try them one by one. Okay, first up are these weird Oreo flavors. When I was in the aisle, I'm like, okay, I gotta find some weird cookies. And I found lemon and carrot cake. I would like to know who at Oreo thought this was a good idea. Um, I personally do not like anything that is that has lemon in it that's a dessert, except for like lemonade. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but that's just me. So let's just open it up. How does it smell? It smells like an Oreo. Okay, I'll be honest, it doesn't smell that bad. Okay, let me give it a try. Let's see if this is as terrible as I think it's gonna be. Kind of good to be honest. Okay, I had very low expectations for that, but it actually is like not that bad. Like I would maybe eat this. Alrighty, next up are the carrot cake Oreos. I genuinely wanna know what was going Like I think whoever at Oreo was designing this uh, was on something when they designed this. <laughs> Cause like, who was like, hmm, let's mix Oreos and carrot cake. I don't think anyone was asking for it. Clearly someone was. Okay, this looks exactly the same as the other one. Look at this. Like, try to spot the difference. This one's like maybe a little bit darker. Okay. Smell, ooh. Smells just like suspicious. Like I think, I think if like I didn't know what this was and I smelled it, I would have no clue what it was supposed to be. Ooh. 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 Mm. Why? Like, why did they make this? I'm not having it. These uh, get a thumbs down. This one's like, all right, but I'm still very curious who thought these were a good idea. Okay, next up are coconut chips. What, again, why? Like, who is asking for it? I wanna know, but I will try it. And I will say, I don't know if this was technically a back to school snack. So I know I called it back to school snack. It's more just like weird snacks that I guess you could eat for back to school. Let's give it a sniff test. Ooh, okay, it doesn't smell that bad. Okay, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. It doesn't smell that bad. Let's give it a try. So it seems what it is, it is the inside of the coconut that is cut into these like thin strips and dried. Now, I'm like very like mixed feelings about coconut. Like I like it in pina coladas. I like coconut milk in like Indian food, but like I feel like I don't like coconut desserts sometimes. Uh, I don't know what to expect. Let's just give it a try. The texture is kind of just like a chip. Okay, I can't decide if I like that. Okay, I think I kind of like that. I feel like it's a snack that would get old like really quick. Like I could eat like three more of these and enjoy it, but after that, like I'm done. They're like, all right. Yeah. Alrighty, so next up are these watermelon flavored raisins. I will ask again, why, why? Please tell me who in their right mind was like, I'm gonna take raisins and put watermelon in them. I don't know why, I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but I'm gonna give it a try. Comment down below if you've tried any of these crazy things because like, why? Oh God, look how much we have. We have a lot of them. Okay, sour raisin snacks. Just to preface this, I hate raisins. Raisins are one of my least favorite foods on earth. But I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, let's give it a sniff test because this is not gonna smell good. Okay, it smells like, it smells like Gushers. Wait a second, this literally smells like Gushers. All right, that is what they look like on the inside. They kind of look like Gushers, not gonna lie. Um, they're like 
raisins that look like Gushers. It's clear that they're flavored with something because they have this like red stuff on the outside. All right, I don't really like raisins, so let's just give it a try. Ooh, oh my God. I don't even have a garbage to spit out. Oh my God, ew, ew, ew. I will swallow it. They are not kidding when they say that it's sour. Oh my God. But it tastes like a Gusher. I guess this is like the health, well, I don't know if this is actually healthy, how much sugar's in this? But I guess this is like the healthy version of Gushers. There's still 13 grams of sugar per thing. I don't know how much sugar there is in Gushers. They kind of taste like Gushers. They're kind of like the healthy, shriveled up, like old person version of Gushers that I just don't need in my life. Next up, we've got these. And now I will preface that this company is actually owned by one of my best friend Manny's uncles. Uh, and so I've tried them many times before and they're actually pretty good, but I had to include them because I feel like they're dried broad beans, which I feel like it's just like a weird thing. Like who knows what they are, but I will say I'm not like trashing the brand because I know the owner, um, not sponsored or anything, but like, I don't know. I figured they were good for the video. Cause like, I feel like most people have never heard of broad beans before, but I've had them before. They're pretty good and they are very healthy. They're like full of protein. One of these, uh, containers, um, is, how many grams of protein? Is 21 grams of protein. I have no idea what that means, but sounds <laughs> sounds healthy. This flavor I got is sweet cinnamon. Alrighty. Very good. They're kind of one of those things that's like, you know you're eating something that's like healthy, but like they put enough stuff in it that it's like kind of good. So you're like, you're like, okay, like I can eat this. And like at the same time, you're basically eating a steak, but like it's snack, you know? Next up are a snack that I don't think are weird. I love this snack and literally everyone on earth that I eat it around runs away from me and says that I'm a creep for eating this. But ketchup chips, in my opinion, are one of the best foods on earth. I'm gonna get a hundred comments down below that I'm ridiculous. I know they are weird. But like, think about it. You take French fries, which are made of potatoes that are fried, dip them in ketchup. This does the work for you. It is chips that have ketchup on the outside. Genius. Like, I don't know who came up with some of these other foods, but whoever came up with this, literal genius. All right, I'm just gonna like rip it open so you can see what's on the inside. The trick with ketchup chips, there's always like one ketchup chip that has a lot of ketchup on it. That's like the good ketchup chip. So let's go searching for that. Okay, oh, here we go. These are the good ketchup chips. Just look at them. Okay, I will admit they smell pretty terrible and when I eat them at school, literally the, the room clears. It's like someone made a fart. The room literally clears, but they're so heavenly. They're so good. Oh my God. Speaking of potato chips, next up we've got blue potato chips. Like, Blue potatoes, alrighty. <laughs> That's just a little weird, but I figured I'd give them a try. My, I, I showed this to my mom, she's like, they're not weird, I eat them all the time. I'm like, you're weird, so let's give them a try. I feel like these like are like, I feel like these are the type of chips that people think are healthier because they're a different color. Like, oh, they're not regular potato chips, they're blue potato chips, but they're definitely the exact same thing. Look at that color though. That is, I feel like they're more like purple. That is a bright color, that's kind of cool. Um, let's give it a try. I feel like it's just gonna taste like potato chip. It's a potato chip. Okay, so I saved the weirdest for last. Orange peel bites covered in dark chocolate. Like, like, again, who was asking for it? I know chocolate and oranges like go together, but like, I don't, I, I saw this in the aisle and I was like, what is that? Whoa, those are thick. Kind of looks like little worms, to be honest. Alrighty, let's try it. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Ooh. Okay, I spit that out off camera so you don't have to see that. Ooh, that is not for me. Oh God. That is nasty. Just why? The, the chocolate's obviously good, like it's chocolate. Who doesn't like dark chocolate? but the inside of the orange peel is like rubbery and you like bite into it, you try to chew. Not my thing and it's a really weird, oh, I don't like that. It's a really weird orange flavor. Okay, I'm gonna go get some water. That is gross. I'm gonna get some water and then I'm gonna do the outro. Alrighty, I washed out my mouth, got my bag on because school's literally starting tomorrow when I'm posting this video. So 
Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video and enjoyed me trying these weird snacks. I want to hear from you guys. If you spot a weird snack, send me a picture on Instagram. Here's my Instagram or comment down below. What is the weirdest snack you've ever seen in your life? I want to hear all about it. And are you excited for school to start or are you not excited? I'll be honest for me. I am not that excited because like it's school and like I rather the summer is more fun. But at the same time, I feel like it's like kind of fun to be able to see your friends with a structured like schedule. Whereas in the summer, you always have to like figure out when you're gonna hang out. It's kind of like nice to see your friends every day. So we're going back to school. Stay tuned for some more awesome back to school videos. If you haven't already, be sure to click that big red subscribe button to be the first to know when I post new videos and comment down below what other videos you wanna see. Hit that like button, enjoyed watching. And yeah, all right, I'm gonna go finish eating all those ketchup chips and just smell up the whole room. All right, bye. Hey, hey.